Hey there. Now in this video, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. We're going to be answering some questions from the comments. So the first comment is from Kandali Isaac that wrote, Can you please talk about graphs of functions, specifically core, please? And then the other comment is from Hawanga Helena that wrote, I learn a lot from your channel, but can you please do a on graphs and functions, please, sir? Now, if you also struggle with graphs, I recommend you to subscribe to our channel with notifications on, not to miss the next upload, for we will be doing a series on the topic of graphs. Now, with that said, welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, this is part one of the topic of graphs. And without further ado, let's dive into the objectives. So for this particular video, we're going to be looking at how to find coordinate points as well as how to plot coordinate points on a grid. Okay? Now that we're done with the objectives, let's dive into the lesson. So get your pens and your notebooks ready. Okay, so here we have a question. What are the coordinates of H, I, J, K, and L? So how do we solve for such a question? We use this note over here. Now this note says, draw a cross at the given point, and then write down the values of X and Y, which is in the order x first and then the comma and then the y value follows now if you don't understand what is written here don't worry we will get into examples that will enlighten your understanding and mind you there's a lot of ways how to solve such questions but this is just like an easy way that i decided to show you so let's start with h when you look at h the first thing you want to do is you want to draw your cross at that point so our point here is H. So let's draw our cross. Now when you're drawing your cross, you want to draw long lines that go throughout the grid. Okay? After you draw your cross, you start on the x-axis. So where is our x-axis? It's here. So you look for where that blue line is crossing the x-axis. Where is it crossing? It's here. So this is negative 5. So that negative 5 will be your x value. You put a comma there, and then you go on the y-axis. Where is the blue line crossing the y-axis, the other blue line? It's at positive 4. So you write your positive 4 there, and then you put it into brackets. Okay? And that's basically it. You are done with H. That was easy and quick, isn't it? So let's clean up here. Let's move on to I. So we do the same thing. We, write, we draw a cross at I. Don't forget to make them lines long. And then what do we do next? We write down the values for x and y. So we go on the x-axis first. We look for where the blue line crosses the x-axis, which is here. So it's 0, 1. So it crosses at positive 1. We write that positive 1 down. We put a comma. And then we go on the y-axis. Where does the other blue line cross the y-axis? That will be at positive 3. So we write down that positive 3. Put it into brackets and we are done. So now for your exercise, pause the video now and try out J, K and L. Okay? So pause the video now. Okay. Now for J, we do the same thing. We draw our cross lines there. And then we check on the x-axis first. Where does that blue line cross the x-axis? It will be at negative 3, because negative 2, yeah, negative 3. Then we write down that negative 3, put our comma, and then we go on the y-axis. Where does the other blue line cross this y-axis? That will be at negative 5. So we write down that negative 5, put it into brackets, and we move on to k. So where is k? k is over here. 
we draw our cross over there. And then we ask ourselves again. Always start at the x-axis. Always. So you move. Where does the blue line cross the x-axis? That will be here. Now what value is this? In the center here we know it's 0. Because this is 1 and then on the left hand side is negative 1. So in the middle here will be 0. So we write down our 0, comma. Where does the other blue line cross the y-axis? So now here don't get confused because there is this line. Ignore it because it's already like vertical. It's not crossing the y-axis but it's vertical. So you just follow that y-axis. You follow it, you follow it. And then the other blue line that is crossing is this one. So what is the value for that blue line? That will be negative 4. So you write down that negative 4. Put it into brackets. And that is your x and y value. Okay? So you move on. We go to L. Draw your lines there. Or cross. And then you start again on the x-axis. What value do we have on the x-axis? Or where does the blue line cross the x-axis? That will be 1, 2. So positive 2. We write the positive 2 down. A comma. And then we go on the y-axis. Where does the other blue line cross the y-axis? It's at negative 3. So we write down that negative 3. Put it into brackets. And that's your final answer. That was easy, isn't it? Now before we check how to plot this point, say for example you are only given these uh, co coordinates, how do you plot them on the grid? Before we look at that, how are you finding this video so far? Is it helpful? If yes, do give us a huge thumbs up and support our channel by subscribing with notifications of course, not to miss the next upload. Now if you need some extra help, don't hesitate to WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp number as well. Okay? Back to the lesson. So now, how do we plot? Say for example, we are given these uh, coordinate points. How do we plot them on the grid? We use this note over here. So what we do is, we draw a line through the x-axis. And then we draw another line through the uh, y-axis. And then we plot our point where the two lines intersect. Now, if you don't understand this, don't worry. We'll, we will be getting into examples again that will enlighten your understanding. Let's start with H. Now, the line that you draw first on the x-axis or through the x-axis, you need to check what value are you given for H on the x-axis. So, for H, we know on the x-axis is negative 5. So, you go on the x-axis. Always start at the x-axis. Where is negative 5? Look for negative 5. Negative 5. Negative 5 is over here. So there where the negative 5 is, you draw a line. Okay? And then you go to the y-axis. What value do you have for the y-axis at h? That will be 4. So you go on the y-axis and then you look for positive 4, which is here. You draw another long line. Now where the two lines intersect. Now intersect is another word for crossing. Where the two lines cross, that's where your point will be. Okay? So let's plot our point. So our H will be there. Let's clean up. And then we look at I. Now for I, what is your X value? That will be positive 1. So go on the X axis, look for positive 1. Positive 1 is over here. Draw your long line. What is your value for the y axis that will be positive 3 so you go on the y axis you look for positive 3 which is here and you draw your line so where do the two lines intersect or cross it's here so that's where you plot your eye okay so let's clean up now i'll recommend you to pause the video and do the j k and l by yourself before i show you how to do it Okay? So pause the video now. Okay. So for J, what is our X value? That will be negative 3. So you go on the X axis. Where is negative 3? Negative 3 is over here. So we draw our line through that negative 3. And then what is our Y value for J? For J? Negative 5. 
So on the y-axis, we are looking for negative 5, negative 5, negative 5, which is over here. We draw our line. Where do the two lines intersect? They intersect over here. That's where we plot our j. Okay? So let's clean up. And then we are looking for k. What is our x value for k? That will be 0. So on the x-axis, we move and we are looking for 0. So 0 is over here. Isn't it? So that's 0. We draw a line. And then, we go again, what is the y value? What is the y value of k? Now the y value of k is negative 4. So when you go on the y axis, where is negative 4? Negative 4 is over here. So you draw your line there. Now, where do these two blue lines intersect or cross? They cross here. So that's where your k will be. Okay, so let's clean up. Then the last one, which is L. What is your x value? That will be positive 2. So where is positive 2? It's over here. So you draw a line through that positive 2. And then what is your y value? Is negative 3. So you go on the y-axis looking for negative 3, negative 3, negative 3 is over here. You draw another line through that negative 3. Now where do the two lines intersect or cross? It's over here. And that's where you plot your L. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please, do like, subscribe with notifications on, share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together, we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers!